all doing super well if you're new here my name is Nahal welcome to my channel today we are talking about designer luxury handbags and all the bags that I have in my collection I will be sharing with you today these are only including a few as recently of when I say recently I mean three years I moved to New York and these are the bags that I've bought here or as I've been living here or these are the bags that, that made it from Australia to New York uh, recently I went back home and I did leave a few bags there so there is a few missing and I wish I had filmed a part of that to share but I didn't and I didn't really get around to it this will just include the bags that I have here with me in New York let's get straight into it let's start with my most recent bag and one of my favorites actually in my collection it is the Fendi in the sunset sequin that came out in 2022 and it stole my heart what can I say so obviously it's the baguette and it is the iconic sex in the city sequin baguette and I love it. It was a mission to find this bag, but I somehow managed. Um, you'll notice that a lot of my bags I purchase on my trips. I like to get myself a very expensive souvenir, obviously, and this is one of them. I got lucky. This was basically sold out all of New York, and then I got lucky in Istanbul at the store in Istanbul, Turkey, and I walked in mouth completely open and I said wrap it up I'm taking it home but this is one of my favorite bags to wear on nights out it is very New York it is very fabulous shiny she is incredible but very delicate as all her sequins are completely sewn on to like a piece of satin basically the gold hardware and then the inside is satin as well and I keep all my bags stuffed you can see it's satin. She also has little um, hooks here if you want to attach an additional strap. I never do. I always wear it on my shoulder or on my arm. I love this bag. I could add so many more baguettes into my collection and I just love how they are made to be so much fun. Continuing on with Fendi, I have this tiny little baguette. She is the winter version of this little sunset summary baguette, basically the cousin of this one. Uh, she is small and she is very sweet. Uh, it is shirling and patent leather. So it's completely covered in shirling in kind of like a dark brown and a light brown shirling, almost looks black. And then it has this little strap. It also comes with a crossbody strap but I love to carry this bag handheld. It's very sweet, especially for like getting drinks in the city, going out for dinners, very sweet. It actually fits quite a bit. This is the inside of the bag and it does fit a wallet, but it does have its own card holder on the back side. And then here is the chain that it comes with. This bag is very sweet and I'm so happy that I have this in my collection. It's very fun. Clearly, I like to have fun with the baguettes. I think that that is very much me. I love a fun bag and the baguettes are exactly what I would hope for. So I love that. One of my favorites, again, I've had for many years. Moving on to Dior, I have this Lady Dior in the white lambskin. One of my first bags, I actually purchased this little bag in Hawaii at the Waikiki store. So it always reminds me of my family trips to Hawaii that we would have. Um, we were there for one of the New Year's uh, slash Christmases and it was just a great little bag. Um, a little souvenir and it has the silver hardware which I love. I put a little Fendi twilly on it but let's take it off just to show you what it looks like without. Here it is without the twilly so it is completely white. I've had this for a few years honestly. I've had it for probably over five years and I am careful with color transfer and I haven't had any uh, luckily but she is very delicate obviously being white and lambskin um, but she is honestly fabulous. Uh, there's no scratches or anything on the on the leather or the hardware she's worn really well this one the 
straps do fall to the side and then it has the little flap inside. She doesn't fit much, but she will fit a card holder, a phone, a lip gloss. The only thing is that it is a very loud bag. The bag likes to be heard, especially if you're wearing the crossbody chain. This chain is going to make noise. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind. But other than that, she's fabulous, loves to go out. A uh, great little brunch bag, great for nights out. And I would add the, there's a new shape of the Lady Do. I believe it's called something else. I'll insert it on the screen. It is fabulous. It's like a rectangle color. I would love to add that into my collection as well. Just knowing that I get so much wear out of this, I would love to add additional pieces. So this was my first Dior bag actually, and a very special one in my collection. Another Dior, which is very classic and very fabulous is the Dior saddle. And when it got released, I had to get it in the oblique print. Now this is the size large and it does fit quite a bit. It fits my wallet, it fits my phone perfectly. Uh, I have no issues with it. I always wear it on the shoulder just because that is the reason I bought it. Uh, you can attach a long strap to it, but it's not really my style. I like the 90s look of it. When it was re-released, I knew I had to have this in my collection. Um, I also bought a matching scarf of the oblique print and I wear it often when I'm on vacation. I'll wear it as like a headscarf um, at the beach or the pool or I'll wear it as a top. I love it. Like I'm not a print girl, but something about the Dior oblique print, I could, I could do maybe like a oblique print bikini. I wouldn't do another bag. Uh, I'll leave it at this in my collection and let it have, have its moment, but a bikini and a bleak print, I would do. But I absolutely love the hardware, you know, you've got the CD on both sides, very, I guess, heavy metal. Um, I don't believe this was the first one that came out, as you can see, it's a bit larger, and, um, but it was the one that they redid, and I believe I purchased this in 2019. So yeah, that's the that's it for the Dior bags. Chanel is one of my favorites, and of course I have the classic flat gold hardware in lambskin. I would say that the lambskin is very delicate. I do get scratches, but it again it is the most worn bag in my collection. I always reach for this bag. I just love to wear it on the shoulder like so or I'll wear the long strap I think it just goes with everything it's very effortless and I love I just love the look of it it is what it is it's a classic flap and it really is a classic that goes with everything uh, would I recommend the lambskin no it does look the best because it has like this glossy beautiful skin and it's very smooth However, on the back, there's a lot of scratches. Um, luckily on the front, it's not as bad, but this might rub against my pants or my jacket. So maybe that's why it's scratched up. But I could add so many more classic flaps. I purchased this before the huge price increase. I think I got this in 2018, I wanna say. And I purchased this from the Beverly Hills store on Rodeo. So she is an LA girl, love her. Another bag from Chanel, she's, the bag's in the um, dust bag just because it doesn't get worn as much as I would want to wear it. And this is the fabulous Duvel bag. I believe it's in the large size. I did not know these come in different sizes. I just was very particular on the color that I wanted. And when this colorway came out, I just found love. It's basically a raffia tote with Chanel and pink embroidery, and then you've got the beautiful orange, and then blue, and then the straps are with a champagne hardware, and an orange running through it, and then again, the inside, like, are you kidding? It fits everything. It is a great travel bag, especially going on a beach vacation. I will bring this bag with me. Uh, it does hold a lot, but it gets very heavy. So I'll put my laptop and you know my cosmetic bag and everything that I need, my passport and so on, 
but I will bring a little carry-on and it will roll on top of the carry-on just because it is so heavy to just carry on my shoulder. And then keep in mind that these will obviously, these are metal so they'll dig into your shoulder. However, it is fabulous. I love it. I would not get rid of it. Um, it's a great, like I said, to travel with and bring it on vacation and then take it down to the pool or the beach once you're on vacation. So it's like a two in one. And I love that. And I mean, I love a raffia tote and I feel like I have a classic raffia tote. I, for the city, it's a bit hard to wear, but I wanna put more effort this summer to wear it. It's absolutely fabulous and it does stand out and the chain just catches a light so beautifully but it is quite big. I would add another ref, uh, another Duvel tote, but I would do the smaller size. So here is my only Duvel bag actually. Moving on to Bodega Veneta. Um, I have two bags from Bodega Veneta. This is one, and this is the green Mini Jody handbag. When these came out, let me tell you, in 2022, it was, or 2021 actually, it was a mission to get the color you wanted. I had like three different essays in New York searching for this bag. I wanted it in the green, I wanted it in a fun pop of color, and I ended up ordering it from my Teresa just because the stocks at the store were so low, I think they only had like the darker colors and it was like middle of summer. But I'm glad I got it in the green. It goes with a lot. Um, like I would wear it with this top right now. Um, I love to wear it on the crook of my arm or sometimes I would just like wear it like this, if like an evening out. It is buttery leather, like it is very soft and the leather on Bodega bags is another level. This is another little Bodega bag. This is from the store in Milano and crossbody bag, great for um, every day, great for events. Like tonight we're going to an event which is going to have loud music in Brooklyn and I will be wearing this because it is one of those bags that can get pushed around and I'm not worried about anything spilling on it. I'm not worried about it being too heavy. You know, it will just fit my basics, my cards, my um, keys, my phone, and a lip gloss, and probably some powder. It fits the essentials, it's great for going out. It's also, I would say, unisex. Um, definitely wear it um, crossbody, and the strap is adjustable, and I, I love this one. It, it comes in an array of colors, like very, there's a lot of colors, but the black one is a great classic. It actually is a belt bag, but I would never wear a belt bag ever <laughs> and I don't think I ever have even in even like in my high school years I have never worn a belt bag so these are the two from Badigo my only Valentino bag and with no exception is this beautiful pink Valentino rock stud I got a few years back actually she is screaming Barbie right now actually with the hype of the new Barbie movie but Basically in the perfect pink, absolutely adore her, very easy to wear, and I don't care if this bag is not in style anymore. I love the color, it's the perfect pink, um, and it's very easy to wear, light, it goes with so many outfits. I usually just wear it handheld, or I will wear it on, the, on my arm like this, or it also has um, a beautiful chain that you can just interwind through here, but it really is a fabulous bag, and the mini versions that come out of this. Well, this holds a lot, but I would do a mini version. Um, they are also really fabulous. And I would definitely add a mini to my collection for nights out, like a black one with this sparkly, you can't really see, but this, she like sparkles, honestly. If the sun hits it or at nighttime, this bag is sparkling. For Louis Vuitton, I don't have any handbags for Louis Vuitton other than cosmetic bags. I have a few more at home, but I love Louis Vuitton print for travel. I am a huge like Louis Vuitton person for travel products and little kind of bits and bobs like the planner I love. But these are the two that I own from Louis Vuitton. This one I love, it's always in my handbag and it's completely full of cosmetics. 
um, and essentials. I keep this in my handbag, well, whichever bag it fits really, which isn't many. This is the cosmetic pouch, the small one, which comes in different sizes as well. And then this one is the toiletry bag, I believe in size 25 and very, it is a great, this bag is a great purchase. Honestly, we'll have it for many years. Um, there we go, I was looking for this. Um, it has like a nylon lining inside, so it's great for liquids when traveling. You can just easily wipe it down with a wet cloth and it won't get damaged. And it's also a dark brown, so it really does um, stay clean it, because the other one that we have, which is the vanity case, it's beige inside. So putting liquids in that isn't really too ideal, but for this one, can definitely just dump a whole bunch of things and not worry about it. And this one is always in my bigger luggage when traveling. Um, I know it's a risk and it is very hard to find as well. I actually bought this in Singapore. Again, it was sold out in Melbourne at the time and it was sold out uh, in New York. So I got lucky in Singapore for this one. A few of my older bags, which is this little YSL. Um, this is very... It's kind of, I don't know, almost nostalgic because it is one of the first bags I purchased um, for myself and I was just so obsessed with these bags when they first came out. I believe it's called the YSL cake bag and it is in the calf leather. It's very small, it doesn't fit any of the new phones. It used to fit my phone back in the day when we had the smaller iPhones, but it doesn't fit anymore. So if you want to wear this, just know that you're carrying your phone in your hand or my boyfriend's carrying my phone. But it will fit a lip gloss and your keys and a couple of cards, which is the essentials. But I, I have thought to sell this bag just because I don't reach for it as often. But when I do reach for it, I just think like it's just so... Fabulous. Like the gold is a true gold and you can see it is just shimmering like it is such a thick fabulous Heavy gold. So even if I'm not into the YSL logo I could just flip it over and wear it the other way or sometimes like we went out the other night and I was carrying it like this just wrapped it around my hand. It's like honestly a piece of jewelry. It is so shiny and it's just a proper gold and I love that. I don't think my other bags are, don't have a chain like that, no. So I do love this bag and I have contemplated selling it, just not exactly sure. Last bag to share with you is actually from Dolce & Gabbana and it is the Dolce & Gabbana Lucia bag in velvet when this bag came out i was obsessed i was going through a phase of i want all my bags to be bold and loud and i don't know it is very cute i do really like it but it was definitely a phase and i compared to all my other bags i don't think she fits in well with them but she is trying to get worn especially in the fall because it is a velvet i can't really wear it now we're in the middle of summer but she's a fall bag or a winter bag it fits so much which is the only bag that really fits like it will fit my camera in here um and i do again love the chain on this it's a very sturdy silver uh, gold chain which i love and just the way it fits um and then it has dolce printed on the front as you can see, it has all these studs on it and then Gabbana on the back with a love heart. It's very sweet. It's very cute, very bold. Um, and then it just kind of opens, has like a clasp. The inside is leather and then it has leopard lining. It's got everything. Um, this bag has everything. It's very bold. So there you go. Oh, I never noticed it has the name on it. Dolce Gabbana Lucia made in Italy. They had like a really cool promotion when this first came out. Um, made with love. Oh, it's embroidered. Made with love. How am I just noticing that? Oh wow, I've got hair ties in here. Super old. Uh, it was a 
commercial was filmed in, I believe, Sicily, and it was just very Italian, and I just fell in love with the commercial. So that's what advertising would do to someone. But it is a very cute bag and has a special place for the fall and the winter. <laughs> That is all my designer luxury handbags that I have here in New York City with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely comment down below which bag was your favorite. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.